nice one guys so basically i'm gonna be doing cauliflower rice and peas today okay um the reason why i want to do it because well, a lot of people doesn't know that the rice and peas where you eat every sunday it doesn't healthy 100 percent but so you can do stuff in moderation all right rice and peas cauliflower rice and peas I'm gonna show you. Hey, Curtis Sue, what's going on? <laughs> nice to catch you. I never catch you in my life before. What's going on with you today? What are you cooking? Let me know what you're cooking today. Please check out the vegan chef. You know what I mean? We got a special vegan chef normally, you know, give you a certain kind of recipe where you guys um, would love to make at home. All right? Yeah. Anyway, but. Today, I want to do something fantastic, guys. And I'm going to be showing you um, how you can stop eat rice and peas on Sunday. Hey, hey, hello, Chef Ricardo. I am from... Big up yourself. Thank you so much. But I'm going to show you exactly um, how to make rice and peas and use it. Ah, <laughs> Jay. Oh, my God. I'm just making rice and bean. Is it? <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Next week, Sunday. <laughs> Kick. Uh, Kiwa. Big up yourself. Good drink again over the blood. Uh, next week, Sunday, you, 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 do, you do something different. All right? <laughs> Sorry about that, man. <laughs> All right. Now, a lot of people keep asking me for this one still. All right? Yeah, yeah. You have to go schedule it for next, for next week, Sunday. All right, so yeah, schedule for next week Sunday. All right, now, all right, so I'm gonna start it off just like this. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you. Um, good morning, first time in my life. Big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it, one hundred percent. All right. Yeah, well, we're going to show you exactly how to do this one because a lot of people doesn't know how to make the cauliflower rice and peas. So we want to show them how to do it. All right, let's put this one right here. So because I'm going to show you. All right, this is how I normally do my stuff because these, I wash them off, clean them up. Put them on something to dry as you can see exactly what's going on right here okay so basically we got the cauliflower we got some red kidney bean i wash off the red kidney bean i got some spring onion i got all different kind of bits and pieces which i'm going to be using to make the cauliflower rice and peas so i'm going to walk you through it and show you so the first thing we're going to do we're going to grate to the cauliflower and it's simple and easy stay tuned all right yeah let's put this one side Okay, now we're going to be getting this big bowl to use to do the cauliflower. Let me see if I can find my grater. Alright, hopefully. Okay, I'll find it. Alright, now for the cauliflower, let's get some more extra lighting. Alright, that sounds better. All right, yeah, so, all right. Now, the grater I'm gonna be using is this grater. If you have like um, a vegetable rubber, you can use it, but I'm gonna use the grater, the grater very easy, okay? And we're gonna be using this side of the grater. Now, the reason you can eat rice and peas, but eat it in moderation. I'm coming, woman, what's going on? Nice to see you. Um, the best way, eat in moderation. Don't eat it every day. Like a lot of people cooking rice today, they're going to leave some for tomorrow. Just say you're eating rice two days. So there's a lot of sugar you're putting inside of your body. The more rice you're eating is the more sugar you're putting inside of your body. All right. So what you want to do, you want to try and make something instead of rice and peas on a regular basic on white rice. 
And that's why we're talking about cauliflower rice. Now, it's a requested recipe from one of my audience. All right. So we're going to be using this side of the grater. So the grater comes with four sides. So this is the biggest side we're going to use to grate it on for the grater section. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get the cauliflower. If you want to wear some gloves, you can wear gloves. Um, oh, what on the first? Let me see. Make sure. I do wash it off, you know, make sure everything is clean. So we're gonna simple grate it like this. Alright? Yeah, a good a good way. This is the best way to do it. Yeah. So you want to grate it. Now, anytime you do this at home, you're going to love cauliflower rice for the rest of your life. Trust me, you're not going to miss rice. Yeah, you're going to miss rice. God, this is going to take, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're not going to, you're going to be like, wow, why did you start doing this for a long time? So I just have to do it from scratch to show you because a lot of people doesn't know how to do it. So that's why I want to do it from scratch. So as you can see, um, I'm great on it just like this. So basically, this is it so far. All right, so this is how it look when it's a finish, great time down. So we don't have to go any further. We're not gonna use this bit. Some people will use this and make soup, all right? But we're not gonna do that today, and next time, all right? Nice one. So. All right, lovely. So. As you can see right here, this is a cauliflower right here. To be honest with you, cauliflower doesn't smell nice, okay? Honestly, it smells really bad. But it's the benefit with the cauliflower rice, all right? And that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to show you how to cook it. And a lot of people, if you, if you missed the video, you can also re-watch it on my YouTube channel, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Go over and watch it. Subscribe and leave your comments. All right, guys. Amazing. So we're gonna show you exactly how to make this beautiful cauliflower rice. Stay tuned. All right. Let's put this one side. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna simply say to you guys. This will be something where a lot of people need to start, though, honestly. Just cut down on the rice, guys. Does it healthy, honestly. All right. It's going to about almost three months. No, me don't. At, at three months or four months, I don't eat rice. How long Christmas gone? Yeah, Christmas gone long time now, yeah. So, for sure, you what's going on. Things looking good. All right, now, as you can see, let's get our era clean up and ready again, okay? So we're gonna start the process of making it. Nice one. So we're gonna be using my two burner, 
Instead, I use my um, flat cooker. We're going to be using this one. Nice one. All right. Yeah. So, let's get the, your favorite pot. Touch it. So if you're just coming on the live, all right, this is a cauliflower which you're gonna be using. All right, guys, if you just come on the live and you know what I mean, you wanna know what I'm making, it is cauliflower rice. I'm just encouraging you, stop cut down on rice. It doesn't good for you. Cut down on rice. Black rice, brown rice, pink rice, blue rice, red rice, yellow rice, orange rice. You couldn't help it till you can't help it no more. You cannot beat this. What I'm gonna make for you. This is more healthier and this is more good for you and this is more better for you. Okay? Just cut down on rice for a little bit. 95% of people all over the world right now are cooking rice today. 95% of the world is cooking rice today. Today is Sunday. So whatever kind of rice you are cooking today, even red rice, you know, pink rice, doesn't good for you. Turn into sugar in your body and slow down your blood from from flowing through your vein and that's why you see so many people have heart attack diabetes um strokes and because you're feeding information and you, you want to slow down your, your your cholesterol level is going to build up so you want to slow down cholesterol level by eating something like this so what i'm going to make today you're going to love it so if you just joined the life i'm making cauliflower rice and peas all right we're not going to use any coconut milk in this. Something different. All right? Big up on yourself. Stay tuned in. My respect goes for you. No disrespect if you're cooking your rice and peas today. Yes. I'm going to get to the point. Don't worry yourself. Let's jump into it. Medium sized pot on the cooker. All right? And that's the first thing we're going to do today. All right. Yeah. All right. Craig. Um, uh, oh yeah, you can also make mushroom potato out of cauliflower. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. I'm going to try that one. Nice. Thank you so much for that tip. Yeah, man. A good, a good one in the kitchen. All right. thing we're gonna do all right we're gonna put two teaspoon of olive oil in the front pan okay guys yeah two teaspoon of olive oil teaspoon you know, not vegetable not three tablespoon two teaspoon so yeah man. and then we're going to put some this is some pimento seed into the pot all right yeah pimento seed into the pot beautiful trick what's going on um a lot of people don't cook with these things in but i cook with them this is cloves c-l-o-v-e-s I'm going to put about three of them in the pot. All right. Yeah. So as you can see exactly what's going on. Nice and lovely. Okay. So basically we got pimento seed and we got cloves in another pot right there. We're going to get some fresh organic garlic. All right. Yeah, man. Let's use up some garlic, 
All right. All right. Let's put this one side. So this is what I like to do when I'm when I'm when I'm cooking. All right. I like to do this one. All right. Look at this, guys. So you see, this is something you want to do in the meantime when you are cook at home. All right. This is very good for you. Get some garlic. That's, um, three cloves of garlic right there. And then pour some hot water into the cup and drink that in the meantime. All right, meantime I cook, drink some garlic tea. So in the meantime, I'm cooking, I'm going to be drinking this garlic tea. Very, very good for you. 100%. All right. A good vibes in the kitchen today. All right. Big up my subscribers and my audience who support Chef Ricardo and make it working. So we got to seed and cloves in the pot. Share this with your family and your friends. Let them know Chef Ricardo cook healthy recipes like these at home so we're gonna get at least two cloves of garlic all right so we'll just crush up the garlic then all right just like this break it up put another pot and get that beautiful flavor we're gonna get some red onion you can use white you know what I mean but yeah all right here it is this Look at that, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, this is an anormal thing. All right. We're going to put one spring onion inside of it. We're just going to cut it up. Alright, this is some fresh thyme, but you know, from a freezer. Just gonna break it off, put it in like that.
we got some chili we're gonna use in it well you don't have to it's option but i like vegetables in mine all right Looking good. Gonna cook some broccoli. Yeah. Um, in this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some fennel seed. You don't have to, this is option. A few inside of it. Few in this pot. Yeah. Coriander seed. Some chili flakes. Amazing. It's a few. Some vegetable season. Getting that flavor into the season. Your favorite broccoli. Red kidney bean. Your favorite cauliflower rice.
This is the most healthy food I could ever eat. Alright, this is the trick. We're gonna tip a little bit of food browning color inside of it. Just to lighten the color a little bit. Not too much. We're just gonna simple change the color, make it look a little bit darkish. Black pepper. Pinch of sea salt. Turn on your cooker a little bit. Sweating up on nicely. Yeah, man. So just imagine you have some curry chicken today or some curry lamb or, you know? Guys, I'm gonna have to cut the show, man. We got 53 people, 59 people like the video. We're gonna have to cut the show. Come on, guys, like up the video, man. Uh, and say, yes, Chef Ricardo, thank you so much for the recipe. As I know enough people cooking rice today, but I'm giving you ideas what you can do instead of cooking rice. Okay? This is what you can do at home. Look at that. All right, let's taste it and see where we are all right look at that you don't have to cook rice and peas every day mm. a little bit more sea salt ah the flavor is just right Look at that. Yeah, man. Now, you see that? That is amazing. Now, I'm going to say something to you now, guys. All right. And this is my message. 
Let's switch it over. This is some cauliflower we are cooking. The whole message for you is to tell you, you don't have to cook rice. If you if you are a person who are on, if you have smartphone or you're watching social media all the time, you will see people talking about how rice turn into sugar a lot. You must see the advertisement. You must see it on the radio, the TV. You must you must see it somewhere. Is a is a very true story. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna shear it up. Just to show you. Let's share this. What an amazing cauliflower rice and peas. Okay. All right, let's share up. All right, we got broccoli. All right, let's show you what the guys can do at home. Me as a person, I'm not eating meat or fish today. I eat too much fish over the weekend, over the whole week. So I just wanna put in back vegetables in my body right now. All right, yeah. This is all I want to do. You can eat chicken, you can eat beef, or whatever you want to eat with it. It's up to you. All right, but. This is what I'm going to be eating today. That's it right there. That's all I'm gonna eat today. If you wanna have chicken, beef, lamb, pork, whatever you wanna have with it, you can have it with it. But me, I'm just gonna have it just like this. I don't want a sauce, no gravy, because this alone right here is really good. All right, guys? Now, the message for you today is to say to you, you don't have to cook rice and peas every Sunday. All right? You can do something like this at home. So hopefully you guys will understand why I did the video and why some of my audience will request this kind of recipe because there's a reason why. All right? And you can say you don't see a lot of people talking about cut down on rice, stop eat rice because 
it's on the all social media where I see it every single day. You hear doctors, you hear nurses, you hear people of autismant, they have all sorts of stuff. You hear they say, stop eat rice, rice turn into sugar in your body, cut down on rice because it helps to slow down your blood circulation because it turns into sugar and all these things in your immune system. All right? So you guys cannot say you don't see it. And you might have said, why I'm doing this kind of food on a Sunday? Sunday when we eat my rice and peas. Yes, you can eat your rice and peas in moderation. All right? Daya, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right? So you guys, you cannot say you didn't see it. All right? You must see it many places. I see it every day. Doctor, there's no way so many people could be talking about this. <laughs> Why so many people will be coming and I tell so many lies? Say, cut down on this, cut down on that, eat this, eat that. Okay? So, we leave it to you and you have to do what's best for your health. Okay? Alright? Yeah. So, uh, what did you cook? No, no, no. Just, just cauliflower rice and, and peas. Cauliflower. Good morning. Thank you so much. I would like to try this. Try it. Yes, you can give it a go. A lot of people ask me. I cook cumin and bean on Sunday. Yes, nice. A whole heap of people, guys, say to me, can you do this recipe? Cauliflower. Whole heap of people. The list is long. A lot of people, 95% of people come to me and say they want to cut off a rice. And, and, but some people still eat rice the same way. But, and, you know what I mean? But the, the message is, thank you so much, I Appreciate it, man. 100%. But the message is, you can eat rice, but eat in moderation. Because a lot, you're not going to be easy to come off a rice. Being sturdy, what's going on? <laughs> Being sturdy at the building. Yeah, man. Pick up yourself. You can do the same thing at home. And you can eat it with fish, beef, lamb, and whatever you like. Shrimps, whatever thing you like. But it's just to say to you, you can cut down on rice. You don't have to eat rice every day. Not every day. You know what I mean? Every Sunday. 95% right now, worldwide. People will be cooking rice and leave some for Monday. Why you don't cook some of this and leave some for Monday? Make some vegetable soup, leave some for Monday. All right. Fish and shrimps, yummy, yummy. Yes. That would be good. Thank you so much, Daya. Big up yourself, man. Come on, guys. Give me another six more like and let's close on the show. And thank you so much for watching this video today. All right. I am going to cook this. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you a lot, Chef. We'll try this 100%. That's why I did the video because I got a lot of requests on this one. A lot of people tell me that they want to cut off a rice. Holy, the list is a very long. The, 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 the list is so long, I can't even explain it. A lot of people saying, Chef Ricardo, please, what do can I replace for rice? This is what you can replace for rice. You don't have to put the red kidney bean in it. You can, yeah. Lots of people. I just give you a like. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. And hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And big up on yourself. My respect goes for you. And whatever you do today, stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And, you know, look after yourself and look after your health 100%. And we will catch you another day with another healthy recipe, man. If you want to see more healthy recipe, let me know. Beautiful chick, what's going on? Big up yourself. Yeah, I appreciate you guys today, 100%. Big up on yourself.